Now, 12 years ago, Emma Watson was uh, a shy nine-year-old girl who'd only acted in school plays. Now, thanks to Harry Potter, she's one of the most recognisable actresses and the richest in the world. In her latest movie, Away from Harry Potter, Emma plays a fame-obsessed teenager. Our Lucy Watson caught up with her in New York to talk about the movie The Bling Ring. Hi, homie Mark. Hey. Hi, I'm Nikki. This is Sam. Hi. Oh, my God, that's Paris Hilton. It's Kirsten Dunst. I just think we wanted to be a part of, like, the lifestyle. The lifestyle that everybody kind of wants. She is a far cry from Hermione. Yeah. Is this now a conscious decision? I loved being in Harry Potter, and I and that role was really special, special to me. But I mean, certainly, you know, when I finished the Harry Potter series, I was playing a sort of 17-year-old girl, and I'm now 23, 24, and you know, just as I'm maturing, I'm I'm gonna do different things and, and take on new parts. So I just hope that people come along with me on the journey. Paris Hilton's hosting a party in Vegas tonight. Where does she live? Do you think we could find a way in? I, I don't know. Come on, let's go to Paris's. I want to rob. Now, it is quite dark a little bit, this film. Well, you, yeah, from the trailer, I think you, you, you kind of think that you're going into some fun, glitzy sort of world, but there are moments when it does feel a bit, a bit sinister. Police are investigating the connection of the Hollywood Hills burglaries. America has this sick fascination with a Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing. I think that the film um, really is about such a contemporary issue, this kind of celebrity culture and the celebrity obsessions really only come about in the last five years. It was kind of like sitting in the other seat um, and sort of viewing you know, my world, the celebrity world, um, from the outside in. Speaking of celebrities, you got to film in the likes of Paris Hilton's house. When you see all those clothes, all those shoes, I mean, yeah. I suppose it's kind of every girl's dream. It's sort of like fashion Disneyland. It's so cute. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Check it. Yeah. I've just never seen that many shoes in one space. She really lives her brand. You know, she really, Paris really um, has created an entire universe around, you know, this, this kind of, this kind of idea. Um, so it was, it was fascinating. Is that different from your universe? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, um, there's there's uh, only a certain number of shoes you can fit into a into a dorm room closet, which for the last two years I was living away at university. It all comes back to like bad choices. Who you have is your friend. You can't take your dog. But he likes me. I think as an actress, um, you try and sort of separate yourself um, from you know this kind of new brand of celebrity, which is which is kind of just being famous for being for being famous. Did you speak to any of the victims? I've spoken to all the victims. Really? What did Lindsay say? Now, the girls in this film, they love Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton. Who did you love growing up? Um, or who do you love now? Spice Girls. I was so obsessed with the Spice Girls. As, like, a seven- or eight-year-old girl. Who I, did you want to be? Emma Bunton. Oh, I see. Oh, I was my, posh. I used to fight <laughs> her. Really? Yeah, I wanted to be her. That's, yeah. that's so cute. <laughs> I think I had a friend called Ellie and we would fight because she had blonde hair so she thought that she should get to be Emma and I said that my name was Emma so I should definitely get to be Emma and this went on for, I mean this went on for months. Did you get a new dress? Mm-hmm. We had so many beautiful things. What's the best bit about being Emma though? I feel incredibly fortunate that I get to juggle um, so much because I think, you know, at certain times in my life I wondered whether I'd be able to, you know, be able to get my degree as well as keep everything else going and, and there are times when it's really hard and I do have to work hard at it but um, I just, I feel so lucky that, you know, hopefully I'll get to graduate next year and that will be really satisfying and um, and then also I just, I really get to see a lot of the world and, and um, I think I think that's what keeps my job so exciting all the time. It's just I'm always someone new and being someone different and working with new people. But the whole LA thing's not for you. Uh, I'm a really I'm an English girl at heart, and it's just it's it's just such a different world. It's so different to to what we to you know everywhere you drive everywhere in a car, and I like walking around and. Um, you know, it's it's just it's a it's really hot all the time, and occasionally I like a bit of rain. You know, so just not today. Just not today. <laughs> it's been very rainy outside today, but so so no, it's it's another world. I'm a firm believer in karma. 
And I think this situation is a huge learning lesson for me to grow and expand as a spiritual human being. I want to lead a country one day for all I know. And the bling ring hits cinemas tomorrow.